All right, so this week's job is to sort out this area here. This is where uh, we store the wood in this barn area and uh, need sorting out because what happens is, is when it rains, it just comes straight down this road and straight into here and then causes this slew of mud, especially when you try and get a uh, four by four into drop wood off or whatever. I mean, a car, forget that, a normal car, you won't be able to. So the plan of action is to take off all this topsoil, put a French drain in here, which is basically like a trench. And then you add like a gravel and a perforated tube. So it acts as a drainage. Um, and then, yeah, take off all the topsoil here. Cut all this back because uh, I want to gain some more space. Chuck this over there. This is what came out of the barn, which is not that much actually. Um, and yeah, put gravel down again to help for the drainage and then wood chip on top of that because uh, I've got a little spot in the uh, valley where there's a load of uh, free wood chips so yeah I'm happy to start using it I mean I think it's going to be some right work again <laughs> um, but you know that's the way it is <laughs> so yeah I'm going to start I'm going to start by pushing this all back cutting this, get out the uh, strimmer, brush cutter, whatever you want to call it, gain some more space. So yeah, I'm actually uh, quite happy about it, that I'm doing it this week, because um, you can't work out here, like, what my plan is, is to have the outside area for um, storing wood, for it to dry, and then uh, also maybe doing a bit of a bodgering as well <laughs> just have it as like a working area I thought I'd just show you this, look, this is what's left, just these little bits that are sticking up, so I'll go again with the uh, brush cutter, strimmer, push that back a little bit more, trim up all this area, and then I think I'm going to have to stop my operation about here, this line here, and yeah, good stuff, yeah I'm well happy. Quite rewarding. It's not actually that much work to be honest with you. Like uh, normally <laughs> things up here are a lot more work than what you think, especially when it comes to like ground works and that kind of stuff. That, this here, might be some work, but we'll just have to crack on. So I'm not gonna take the topsoil off of everything actually. I'm just gonna put some uh, anti-root stuff material down on top and then wood chip on top of that but yeah it's nice really enjoy it got a nice little area going now brilliant
can tell that's that bit done i mean it can be done a bit better but still some anti-roots gonna go down and then um wood chip on top but yeah i'm happy got quite a lot of that area covered well uncovered should i say <laughs> so yeah start with this now this needs sorting out big time i think i'm going to try and not do too much work on this because it is a lot of work but that french drain does need making for down here so yeah like i say when all that water comes from up there down the roadside here i can go straight into that french drain and keep this area nice and dry so i can uh pull the uh, suzuki on there maybe even the van now that's a big ask because the van is like it's rear wheel drive rear wheel drive <laughs> should i say and um it's a nightmare it's always getting stuck if it's not loaded then you know forget it it'll just get stuck in any situation <laughs> so yeah but anyway maybe i can bring that on here all right So I've had a thought about this tube and it makes no sense having it in here. It's not deep enough. I'm not going to be able to get it deep enough and I'm not going to be able to direct the water anywhere. So I think I'm just going to fill it with um, gravel and this whole area as well. I mean, I've got like two tons of uh, gravel coming, so we should be fine. And also with the wood chip as well. So we should be all right, but yeah, I just can't get it deep enough to get this tube in it's drainage. So it's like not really a French drain <laughs> in a principle. It kind of is. Mm -hmm. 